Hi, welcome to Monterey Public Library's Year in Review for our 2012-2013 fiscal year. I'm Kim Bowie Burton, Community Services and Library Director for the City of Monterey. It's been an exciting year and we look forward to sharing it with you. Well, one of the biggest requests we heard during our strategic planning process was bring back more library open hours and particularly bring back Sunday open hours. Now the story I'm going to tell you actually ended in the next fiscal year, but since the work was really done in 2012-2013, we want to really celebrate that as a part of our year in review. Over the course of the summer, the Friends of the Monterey Public Library decided if there was one thing they could help work on, that would be to help bring Sunday hours back for our community. Three years ago, during city budget cuts, we reluctantly had to close the library on Sunday after many years of being open. So our friends took up the challenge and working with the Monterey County Weekly Gifts campaign, we're able to ask donors across the community to help restore Sunday hours. Thanks to that campaign and a donation by the Community Foundation, almost $10,000 was raised to get us towards our $26,000 goal. The friends also helped put in some money as well. Then a generous community donor who chose to remain anonymous put in $6,000, so that's $16,000 towards our $26,000 goal. At that point, the Friends and the Library Board and members of the community took it to the City Council. During the City Council's budget hearings this spring, the City Council heard from Friends presidents, from the board chairs, and from community members who talked about how important it was having the library doors open on Sunday afternoons. The Council decided that was a community priority and added in general fund monies to reopen once again. So if you can picture a dark, quiet library on one Sunday, and then the following Sunday at 1 p.m., there was a ribbon cutting, the doors were opened, over 800 people visited the library on that day. And incidentally, the Friends provided free Sundays, of course, for Sundays, so over 11 gallons of ice cream were dished out. Every week, more people have been visiting the library on Sundays, and once again, we're open seven days a week. We'll hope you come and visit us. Other comments that we heard during our strategic planning process had to do with the library being such a busy community center that in fact it's a pretty noisy place to be sometimes. If you've been here during our story time mornings or after school when the high schoolers and the middle schoolers come in, you recognize what a busy community center the library truly is. Well, thanks to the generosity of the Neighborhood Improvement Program and also the Friends of the Monterey Public Library, the staff were able to devise a very ingenious solution. Instead of making the library a whole quiet shh type place, we were able to create a quiet room within the library. So for those who are studying or would like to do some really quiet reading away from cell phones, away from conversation, away from video noises, that's what the quiet room is for. And so that's what you see around you is a special quiet space in a 21st century library. At the Monterey Public Library, we love rainy weather, but not when it used to mean raindrops would actually drip through this patio floor into our nonfiction area down below. Again, thanks to the generosity of the Neighborhood Improvement Program, as well as the great work of city staff in helping to accomplish a project, the entire terrace um, tiles were removed, new underlayment put down, and the leaks were stopped. So not only is this a wonderful place to come to Monterey Public Library, walk out on the terrace and enjoy a beautiful sunny day with a good book or maybe a good iPad, it's also a way that we're protecting our investment down below. One of the things we heard from our community's strategic planning process was the importance of diversity in our community, of celebrating the many cultures and the many groups of people that live, work, and play in Monterey. This past December, we had a winter celebration with representatives from different groups and different cultures from all over the world. If you can picture this library filled with tables, filled with colorful outfits, and people sharing the food and customs of their country during the winter time. Over 800 people attended during one day. It was a busy day. In 1849, a group of generous community citizens donated $40 each to create the Monterey Public Library. 164 years later, another group of generous community donors are working together to make sure that the Monterey Public Library, California's first public library, exists far into the future. An endowment fund at the Community Foundation for Monterey County has been set up, and all of these names are people who have donated $1,849 or more to join the 1849 Society. 
In the year 2012-2013, they achieved their first $100,000 level and getting well on the way towards their $5 million goal. As you can see, all of these folks have decided to make an investment in Monterey Public Library's future, and there's still room for more. The California History Room and the Library Archives is one of the library's greatest treasure areas. It's where we keep our promise to our community that we preserve community memory. We also heard in our strategic plan how important that is for the community of Monterey. We were fortunate enough to be able to get two grants, one in 2012 and one in 2013, that allowed us to focus some special attention on our California History Room. The first grant allowed us to assess our archival collections and take a look at what we might need in the future to create more space and more access to our archives. The second grant was going to allow us to bring the story of California's first public library to a cell phone tour and to a website that's going to make some of the documents that are tucked away in these drawers and in these shelves out to light and make them accessible to people even when the library is closed. We thank the Community Foundation for Monterey County for their support of those. So this year we've worked really hard on our website to make it more responsive and easier to use, whether you're using your smartphone from your pocket, your home computer, or even a tablet device. You'll find lots of great information that'll help use our library. We can't forget to thank our generous and hardworking friends of the Monterey Public Library. They raised over $25,000 at some of their signature events this past year, our chocolate and wine tasting in February. I know it looks quiet behind me now, but just imagine what it's like when the library is filled with folks after hours nibbling on chocolate and tasting wonderful donated wines. They also provided a great event that tied history and food and our local community together with Dan Albert's Paella, which brought together our Spanish immigrant community to talk about family memories and great times. We're just so grateful for our friends and everything they do. Thank you, friends. Well, 2012-2013 was a busy year. Over half a million items were borrowed. And of course, that means that over half a million items had to be returned and put back on the shelves, too. Over 300,000 visits were made to the library and bookmobile. Almost 10,000 people, and that's people of all ages, children as well as adults, attended 224 cultural and informational programs. Our library help desk was very busy. Over 31,000 questions were answered. And we're so grateful for our wonderful volunteers. They gave over 3,500 volunteer hours to help the paid staff and our community. Thank you. As you can see, 2012-2013 at the Monterey Public Library was a very good year. We want to thank some very special donors who helped make this possible. But we really want to thank every single person who is a part of the library or helped make us the great library that we are. And we know, looking forward, that 2013-2014 is going to be even a better year. Hope I'll see you at the library.